Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on and we're actually going to make upgrade the jetpack I think. And we're also going to do something with power. So let's get started. So here's the recipe for the diamond jetpack using the gold jetpack that we've already got as a reward. In fact, obviously if I can make the diamond one I could easily make the gold one as well. So I'm going to use it. So let's do this. It's basically two diamond thrusters. I look at the recipe for the diamond thrusters, it's basically five diamonds around a furnace. So that would be, in that case, ten... Oops, let's go back again. Um, that's ten, ten diamonds for that, plus four, that's fourteen diamonds. And some redstone, that's not actually too bad. So let's take that one. And then we get the advanced jetpack. So the next one's the netherite version of this. It's probably exactly the same. We just shift click that in the middle. And what we do here is we've got a note. Well, I didn't look at the recipe for this today. It's basically the same thing as a diamond one, just netherite ingots, which we've actually got plenty since we've got the seed. In fact, it's actually a pretty good one. So let's press escape and get take this one. Now, the uses of the netherite jetpack is basically if you put this with a netherite chest plate, it will increase the armor on this to basically the same. So it's plus eight armor, which is matches this one. I don't know whether you get knockback resistance or not. But the idea, of course, is we're going to go to the nether. <laughs> so let's take that, and then we can, we've can we got an armoured netherite jetpack. Um, now, there is another there is another armour. If you have a look at chest plates here. Um, we have a look around these chest plates and see which ones are re really quite powerful. Obviously, we've got chainmail, which is five, and things like this, and diamond, which is eight, and then netherite, which is eight plus three plus uh, not back. And then I looked across at the other ones here. So we've got living chest plate, which is plus six. Mana steel is also plus six. Um, Elementium is plus six. Terra steel is plus eight plus three plus four, which is, sounds pretty decent, actually. Terra steel is a good one. And then we've got the steel death jet. And then Faraday one, which is the most event, and you've really got no protection whatsoever. Then we've got some from Mechanisms. So we've got bronze one. We've got a lapis lazuli chest plate, which is a five plus five. Osmian chest plate. Uh, a refined glowstone chest plate, which is plus seven. And this one here is actually the refined obsidian chest plate, which is plus 12. So refined obsidian seems to be the way to go. And the next one down here is steel. But there are some, of course, there are some other ones here with unstable infused chest plate which we can't do yet as it happens because we need semi-stable which we can do that that easy we might even make a semi-stable today um it's this experience orb we need four of these ex a chanting bottles of chanting we could actually make those the recipe for those would be uh experience droplet for mystical ag agriculture um a dissolution chamber, just enough resources and thermal switch. We're not actually doing those just yet. So maybe we can stick with that one. The other one was, what was the other one recipe for getting this? It was an experienced droplet, which I don't think we can actually get either. This, let's have a look. this experienced droplet here, which we get from Blast Chiller. <laughs> so Blast Chilling Fluid XP will give these things. Again, that is from Thermal Series, so we haven't started Thermal Series yet. So we'll just what we'll do is we'll do a set of armour for the refined obsidian, because that looks pretty decent. Obviously, with the jetpack, it doesn't make much difference. In fact, we could even put that on, I think. Oh, does it allow me to go on at the same time? as? Oh, that's actually nice. I like that. So we can put this on at the same time as having the, uh, the, swims, the suit on. And I think if you click the button here, it changes. So we'll look. No, it doesn't change. I think it, one of them hides it. So that's quite nice. We got we have both. So so the next thing is then the obsidian one. So here I've got a refined obsidian helmet, which has come from the mob, mob spawner. I actually made some seeds. I made some seeds. So we're getting 43 refined obsidian essence so far. We're getting lots of seeds compared to the amount of obsidian essence. Uh, oh, it's about four to one. And then here to make it, you've got you take a enriched obsidian let's start again so we take some obsidian it doesn't matter how much we take to take a a block of obsidian if i can find it here we go two and then we go and take these and we then go put these into the enrichment chamber for a mechanism because this is a mechanism thing so the enrichment chamber is this one we can put those into here and that should make refined obsidian uh Enriched obsidian or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what we'll see in a second. 
hope we've got the right one. Yes, we get this obsidian dust. Okay, we get four per, which is actually quite good. But while that's doing that, I'll see if I can empty some of my inventory out by filling up that. So we've got eight of these now. And the uses of the obsidian dust, if you have a look at it, you can use that to make obsidian in the combiner. And the metallurgy confuser, we can make refined obsidian dust with diamond dust which I've already done. So I've taken some diamond dust, I've made some refined obsidian. We could also do it in foundry. And that'll make some, oh, actually that makes molten obsidian. Okay, that's not much use in melting as well. And then we can cast that, but we, we don't want to cast that. So let's go now, and we've got this. So what we do with it, I put it, I did put some diamonds in and did make some. And so we get this refined obsidian dust, which looks like this, as you can see. I've got some, Osmium clusters. So we have a look at the uses of the refined obsidian. I should have started with this one. We can make enriched obsidian, which has a use, of course, which is then used actually enriched or refined obsidian. I think it goes in the metallurgic, uh, in the infusion chamber, but also well, osmium compressor. We can use it in the osmium compressor. So with one ingot of osmium plus one refined, up, we'll give an ingot, but we can also do this in the casting table. So we can put in here a refined obsidian and put into here one ingot will give us this. So let's do that because we do need a little bit more. So I've got the I've got the obsidian clusters here. That I've got ten of those. Let's put that into here. Put the other two in here, and that should then smelt up fairly quickly, like this. And then the automation is I have put a hopper here, so that's feeding items into the onto the casting table and this is on so as soon as this melts it should start to pour uh, molten obsidian onto this obsidian dust here as you can see and that then transforms into a refined obsidian ingot like that so I've got one of those now as you can see and that keeps going on until we've finished all that, that, that off so we should then be able to repair let's take let's take the four we've got out here we can actually make obsidian boots as well so what we, standard recipe I reckon we can repair this so let's go and see if we can repair it on the um, anvil I did build an anvil or craft an anvil and I put it over here because I intend to do a bit of stuff with the anvil uh, let's put in how many is it going to take and two so but then we get one of those and that took two ingots okay I'm not too bothered about this because we've got the seed and we'll, we can then put this on so let's put the helmet on as well and we can then watch our, oh, I can't right click it on, so it does have to be in the same slot, that's interesting. Oh, I see. So if we can put this in here, then we get the helmet on. Okay, fine. So you can't put this in the, there's no slot for this one now, I don't think. The rebreather we can't put in, no. So it was just the jetpack we can have in, in which slot does it go into the jetpack slot? Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Actually, I should charge this up while I'm thinking about it. Um, I've got a feeling this isn't the best way to charge things up. But for the time being, we'll put the jet, we'll take the jetpack off and put it into here, get it started. Because we've got plenty of stuff to get out of here anyway. So let's just take this out of here. Put it into the, into the energy thing here, and that's going to start charging up. It's got 20 million FE to do. It's not the most powerful one. I don't think, I think there's a more powerful one from the mechanism side. So we'll let that charge up. This is going to take a long time as it happens because that's fairly slow. But I did want to have a look at something else. So let's have a look in here now. We should have some more ingots. We've got another 16. So we've got 18 there plus 5. That's 23 plus whatever we've got in here, 45. They're actually eights. So these will make two ingots per eight. Uh, obviously, don't going to bother doing the recipe. It's a, it's a fairly, it's a, I think it's a tier five. So it was supreme, supreme essence. That'll give us another 10 of those. Can put the others back, back over here. And then we can craft up the rest of the armor. So we need, we've done that boots, we need leggings. Chest plate, we, we probably don't need, but we do need a helmet. Actually, we will do a chest plate anyway. Let's do a chest plate. I like that. And I've actually filled up my inventory with stuff. Let's see if I can get some space for this. Put it in, clear it, let's do it like this. I think this is getting a little bit, oh, it's fine. It's got enough space for the time being. So I'll put this obsidian dust in here for the time being. 
And then before we can shift click these away, yeah, that's right, and then we can put those into here. So we've got materials now to repair our stuff. So let's put all this, all of this on. So that was boots. I don't see the boots. Oh, I made two helmets. That was daft, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Never mind. <clears throat> A bit of waste, but never mind. We'll just we can actually resmelt this. If you look at the uses of this, if we go and put this into. Can we smelt this directly in in this in foundry? No, but we probably can stick it through the recycler. Art recycling. Energized smelting is not very good. Okay, I can't. All right. The art recycler is probably the best one to put it into. Uh, let's put it in one of these chests. Oh, that'll do here. Yeah. Well, that was daft, wasn't it? Oh, well. so let's make some boots up. So I need, just need four, four of those. I bet you spotted that. So boots can go on now, and then leggings. Let's take the leggings off we've got here and put the these ones are on. And then let's take the. We don't need this so much now because we've got the, the the elevator to go up. So there we go. So let's have a look now. <laughs> I've got. Oh, I got back. Pickaxe on my backpack here. That's interesting. I'm not sure why I've got that on, but never mind. It looks reasonable. So let's go put the stuff away somewhere else. That's looking a bit full, isn't it? Um, I do have some recipes I want to make. So let's let's do that. In fact, I'll sort my inventory out and be back in a second. Right, a bit more space. What I wanted to do was to make the mass infusion crystal because these don't last that long. Especially when you're making the premium essence. So let's have a look at the uses of the supremium gemstone, which is dead easy anyway. Let's have a look at the recipe first of all. That's one prosperity gem gemstone with two supremium essence around it. And the prosperity one, the recipe for that is just one diamond with four um, prosperity shards around it. I haven't made a diamond seed yet, but we probably will do before we finish this too long. So we've got that, and I didn't look at the uses of this. So the uses of this, obviously, we can make the supremium chest plates. It doesn't actually... T oh, 10 armour. Okay, this is actually a fairly good one, this premium just but it gives you flight. But the one I wanted to make was the Master Infusion Crystal, so let's click this into place and make that. This is unlimited uses, so you never lose your stuff after that. So basically, once you've got your one diamond for that, it's done. You don't need to do any more of those. Uh, and you can see I've got a little bit of stuff in here, not too much. But I have decided to upgrade the some some of those over there and actually move the move some stuff around and make it a bit more inferior essence coming in so that's that one done so the next thing i wanted to look at here was the solar generator the recipe for this we did covered briefly before uh solar panels so solar panels are basically a glass redstone one infused alloy and some osmium ingots not really a big deal we've done that already it doesn't matter what those glass panes are either they can be any of the different types and then we can make this up here with some an energy tablet. We've also made one of those to infuse the eye. Four redstone and three gold makes one of those. So it's just a basically set of materials. And the uses of this, we can then make a advanced solar panel. So this one, it says it uses is quite efficient. And it produces around about, is it 80 FE? Or oh, I'm not sure how much it produces, to be honest with you. Let's make one up, because I made up the other bits anyway. Uh, Oh, and it completes the quest as well. Should cover the quest soon. Before we finish today, we should do that. And the idea of this is let's put it down somewhere. Since we found out that they actually do work underground, let's just put it down on top of this here like that. Can I do that? No, I can't because it needs a, it's got an end here, you see, and it's not fitting on the end. Um, I have to just break it then. Pickaxe should do. You can see it's charging up. So I put it down now here on the end of this. It's connecting in. So it's now producing power, as you can see. And this power should be coming into here as well and feeding this jetpack up. It's going to take quite a long time, as you can see. We've got up to 2 million now. Uh, so next time, I'm hoping that we're going to be going off to the um, uh, to the nether. Because I know that nethers avoid nether. I saw that on Arthur Beerstan's episode. It looks quite nasty. So we, a jetpack is definitely something that we need to have. So next thing, I also made this rare jetpack 
Um, the next one up from this the use of this was the one with another star which we can't do yet. But this has got this, this one's actually got six to six stacks, so it's a very big one. Did we have a look at that last night? I can't remember. So it's got plenty of space if we go travel and we go travelling or something like that. I've also got uh, some more storage as well. I've got the backpack, um the end of backpack. Oh on last episode I did also see something that um it was two ender tanks that I got as a reward. I couldn't see it because I pressed F1 to turn off the um, items and I saw that we actually got two ender, ch ender tanks here. So I've got, oh, and I've got an ender pouch. I've got two ender pouches now, have I? Because I noticed one in here. Let's put them in here then. Sort that again. So we've got two ender pouches, handy. Uh, and there was a seed in there too. So what was that seed? I missed it. A lead seed. Okay, I'll plant that sometime as well. We don't need much lead. I mean, we probably will do later on. So what I'm going to make here is this is from Mini Utilities, and this is an iron opium opium core. And let's have a look at the Mini Utilities. It's basically extra utilities or something very similar to. It. We've we've covered these. They've got different tools in here, which is actually not bad. Ten attack damage. I need to find a really good tool before we go to the nether as well. Uh, eight. And these have some re reasonably good armor on this one anyway, but this was the one I was curious about. Couldn't do that. But anyway, we need, I would like to make this diamond opinion core. And the uses of this one is we can make um, a quantum quarry. I don't think that was the one I wanted to make. Um, Anyway, let's go, let's go through the rust bit I've got, because I've got them prepared here. So let's take four of these. And the next level up here is are these, and I haven't got enough gold for this. That was a bit daft. I'll tell you what, let's go and get some gold. I'm back in a second. Right, so now I can make two of these gold opinion cores. Opinion, I think I have to pronounce that to be done. And the use of these is actually what I wanted to make. I wanted to make a solar panel controller. So that needs a ender tile. Ender tiles are made with just glass planes around here, an ender pearl, and that gives us eight of those. So that's prepared, that's here, so let's take those out of here. And then we should be able to complete this recipe. So that was just one of those in the middle like this, and then two of these, and that produces the controller from Mini Utilities, which is actually also a quest. And we're then with the controller, I think of, oh, I've I think we just put three of these on top here that we do, yes. So three of these ender tiles on top of a glowstone block with diamond will produce some solar panels from mini utilities. I don't know how good they are, I'll be honest with you. But it does have a nighttime version of this as well. So the nighttime versions, we need these chorus tiles, which is just a chorus fruit, as we so we made those previously. Um, and then we just put those on top of here like this. And that'll make two of these solar panels, lunar panels. So I, I'm not exactly even sure how, because it's the first time I've made those, as you can see, I'm just getting the quest reward, reward. But I guess that we put them down somewhere like this. Um, but maybe this is how it act, gets fuel in it. So let's just put down some panels, see if that actually makes, charges it up. Doesn't seem to be, if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna spend any time on it. So I'm gonna figure it out and do it next time. Doesn't look as though it's actually working. Do these have to go on top of there? That's the next question. Let's just try. Is it daytime or nighttime? I suspect it's nighttime. In fact, yes, we should be okay here, I think. That's got no power in it. No. Active panel zero. Okay, do I have to do something with these panels? Do you know, I don't know what we have to do with this. I'll come, so I'll figure it out for the next episode. So we've got, I've made them, just seen how they made being made. I, I quite have to do this as it happens. And I'm not sure it's a good idea or not. Um, they should tell me in here if the, these advanced solar panels are working because it's nighttime, but it's hard to tell because we've got the other generators working. Never mind. So that was those are the solar panels that I wanted to cover today. Okay, I've figured out what I want to do next. So that was two things I want to do. I would like to look at foundry because foundry seems to be interesting. 
Uh, I don't actually. I'm not even sure it's called foundry to be done. It's when you, but it's we we need um, nether grout. Just can't spell it. Because I mistyped mis the T. We need some nether grout. Maybe it's easier to look for grout as a tapas. Yeah, and this is nether grout here. In fact, I've got the I've got the recipe already prepared over here. So that needs uh, salt, magma cream. Soul sand and gravel. Now, gravel we can make easily enough using dirt and stone essence, which I've done already. We've covered the other ways of doing it. Um, soul sand we can make with nether essence and a fire essence, which we've also done um, already. That's quite a good way. And this one here with magna cream, we can make with some slime balls and a blaze essence. Now we made the blaze essence last time, or the seed, and between episodes I've made the slime seed. Not too difficult, I just used slime balls. Uh, and the recipe for slime balls that I was using were the tempered glass jar one, yes. I was using mushrooms. So we made mushrooms using nature essence and dirt essence and makes eight. So you make 24 per slime ball. So you need four times 24 in order to make those up to 96. So I made that, did it and then, and then Made the jars. The jars are probably the hardest bit of it, or the longest bit, because you've got to cook stuff up four times. I think I've cooked up, so yes, I've got some soldust here. I cooked some uh, cobble and stuff four times to make the soldust. It takes quite a while. And then I planted the seed. So we've got the seeds down here now. So we've got slime balls here, well, slime essence, and we've got some blaze, blaze essence here. That's probably more than enough for the time being. And then we can make up those uh, magna creams. So if we make those up fairly straightforward, wasn't it? It was just one in the middle with a cross of these. So we're going to get nine times six. OK, so we've got 54. So 54 of these, and we can then start to make this nether grout up. I can make 54 times. That's quite, actually quite a lot. I don't know how much that's going to represent. And then the uses of these, we can then smelt these and the bus furnace will produce these scorched bricks. And the uses of scorched bricks is basically like, um, uh, 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 which one is it? Another grout, the standard grout, um, and then that makes the bricks, doesn't it? So cook, look up that one, cook it up again. And that makes seared bricks, okay, yes. So we've got scorched bricks instead of seared, seared bricks. So we can simply shove a stack of that into here, and the other ones we'll put into here. It's a Prudentium furnace, and this will probably go through fastest. I think it's faster than the Prudentium one. We'll see. It doesn't make any difference anyway. So that's what I was going to do. And I'll prepare that stuff for next time because I'd like to have a look at what we've actually got to do with for the uh, foundry stuff. Because I think the mod was... Let's look at the use of the... Tinker, oh, it is Tinker's Construct. Um, it is Tinker's Construct. Okay, Scorched Earth. But I think there's a new book for this one which we haven't made yet. Um... I'm not sure it's called a manual, or what, that's manilium, or it's called a guide. Oh yes, here we go. So Tinker's Guide, you've got different ones. You've got a fantastic foundry, which is nether grout. So book will make this fantastic foundry book good. Uh, so we've got materials new, puny smelting, which I guess is to do with um, beginners, okay. And then mighty smelting, which is obviously the smeltery. And this is Tink Gadgetry, book of uses of slot. Slime for everyday tasks, okay, that's something new, and then this one, and then we've got the Encyclopedia of Britannia, uh, which we just put all four together, okay, good. So we should make this one if it's not included in the in the in the tome here. So let's have a look in the tome, shift left click it because I've got something in here. Oh, we have got the Encyclopedia of Britannia, good. I don't need to look at it, it's already here. Let's take I thought it might because we've got all the books for free anyway. So the next thing I'd like to do is to make some blurst earth. Uh, so let's have a look at that one. I don't want... Oh yes, here we go. Blurst earth. So we get eight of these. We want to make a semi-stable ingot. Like that. We can make one of those. And then we can make the blurst earth. This with some dirt around it. And this will produce all mobs. So that's actually that's actually a quest which is a good one to do. The one that I would have liked to do would be cursed earth, but I think that here's a good place to put it. 
So first of all, I'm going to go around here and turn off everything and just put this in the middle somewhere. I just got, so I just turn, go around turning all the others off. In case you didn't realize, I had, I got some mob fans as a reward, so I just put them all there because we haven't got feathers yet. So we can turn all of these off and then we can go around here and just turn off the, the grinder. It's important to do that. And then we can come in here. There should be no mobs in here. There's a, nothing should be moving. Just have a quick look around. I don't want to get pushed in here. Great. So somewhere in the middle here. Let's just put it down here, for example. Hopefully they didn't... Oh, that got picked up. I can put this down. So there we, that'll spawn mobs. Hopefully it doesn't spawn mobs in daylight. So we now get pushing the things down over here. And I've got no idea how efficient this is. So let's get... Let's go around to all of these places. Click them back on again. Let's put all the fans on and turn this on. And I'm not sure whether we have to be. Oh, we haven't turned on the other one yet. Actually, what was that one I was just turned on? I don't think that's anything. <laughs> I don't think that's anything. So that's now all running, as you can see. And the blurst earth is working. So we'll just go stand away a bit and see if that actually produces anything. Maybe if I come back over here a bit, we might be able to see. Or maybe something else that we could do is to break away some of this stone around the doorway and could see better, couldn't we? Uh, but I don't think it's happening for the time being. But tell you what, I'll be back in a second as soon as I see something ha action. Well, this is definitely working. I've seen that was just a witch that went past, and you can see there's some uh, essence here. But my, my, my inventory full. Oh, it must be missing too. Let's just put this in here. I've got the essence here, so it's picking up bits and pieces. So we should even be able to see here. That's a slime. Oh yes, we've got some slimes being spawned in here as well. I didn't have those before. I just see certain, some more coming in at quite high rate, rates as well. That's fantastic. And so let's get rid of this slime. So uh, this inferior essence on here I've got. So there are all sorts of bits and pieces coming in. That's actually really cool. So we'll leave that. Hopefully we'll get some animals, but maybe the animals need daylight. That's something to test. Um, so I've built this little area. Well, let's put one of these down and see what actually spawns. So I think I have to be a distance away from it. But of course, it's because it's raining. It might not be the best time to do this. Ooh, I've got dark patches down here. That's not so good. Let's just put a torch down. I think I've got some torches here, yes. Get rid of those. Um, maybe you have to be a bit further away. I'm not sure. We'll just come out of the distance and I'll, I'll come back when something spawned. Actually, a chicken spawned. I've just seen a chicken spawn up here, which is great. Um... So we've got our first chicken, fantastic. We should get some eggs from that, and then we can make some more chickens. Right, <laughs> that was actually uh, interesting. I didn't know quite what to expect. Uh, if you haven't seen this up here, I've been around. So if we can go over the bed, that's dead easy. We can go over the bed. In fact, in the night time, we can sleep in the bed as well, which is also quite handy. So last thing before we go today, let's have a look at the quest rewards, because I haven't done those today. Um, and there's probably quite a few. I haven't done anything on basics, but we have done in mini utilities. I made the four of these items in here. So we've got garden close. That's actually a good one to get. Just a powered thing. We've got a random reward for the uh, lunar panel. Reward collected, which is a expanded tank construction. Don't know. I haven't looked at those yet. And then we get this one, which is a brown laser lens, which is for the solar panel. And this is a quantum quarry, which we haven't done yet. Maybe the, we need the quantum quarry, I don't know. I did the mechanical placer. I was trying to figure out a way to put uh, obsidian dust into the casting table. I think it was a hopper, it was the easy way, because this one actually places blocks. It was hoppers play, place items. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. And blurst earth, we've got this as a random reward again. And we've got a flux score. Actually, that's not a bad one either. So, have I got any space in my inventory? Just a little bit. I'll put these back and come back to finish off the quests. So this one, I haven't made a mechanical miner. I suspect that's a block breaker. And it's got these drums, which are actually fluid drums. So they're pretty good, actually. This one's 16 buckets, which is just an iron, a stone drum. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button there. Um, 
And the next one, and that's just made, if you just press shift, you can see the, the recipe. It's just a bowl and some smooth stone makes one of those. And then the next one up was actually getting quite high. This was iron drum, and that holds 256 buckets. The next one along here was reinforced, which holds 4096 buckets, which is pretty good, in fact. That's just a diamond one, so let's have a look at that. Click to review the recipe. Six diamonds, one iron drum. So they uh, expand on that, and two lightweight pressure plates. Well, fantastic. Good. So that's the end of that one. I like, didn't miss, didn't do all of the quests here, did I? Let's go back here. Done a few mystical agriculture ones. And we've got the slime seeds, another random reward. Large crate, uh, great, I love those. And pretty big crates, and you can do a bit with them. I made the refined obsidian seed, which is quite an expensive one. We get a purple laser lens for that. I am probably going to make um, some more seeds here as well between episodes. Um, we'll see what we need. I'll just do it as an on-need basis type thing. Um, was there another seed in here? I don't see any more. So let's go mechanism. Let's finish these off. I made the large solar panel here. Uh, which gives us a random reward. Is there? So another Sojourner's Sash. And I think that's all the rewards that have been collected. Fantastic. If I go back to mechanism here, I would like to do some more. We've done some of this. The next one I'd like to do would be an uh, energized smelter. Let's click the recipe. That's fairly straightforward as it happens. Just some uh, basic control circuits, some steel casings, and that one. In fact, I did have, did plan to do that one. So let's just do that one today as well. Uh, smelter. But I won't bother collecting the, the reward for this today. Where has it gone to? Energize smelter. Maybe I should just type in smelter because I can't see it for trying. Here we go. It's the one on the right. I should have to simply click that into position and we get this energized smelter. Then we can then simply go and put this down and claim its reward. It'll be another random reward. Uh, I quite like that. As I said, I like getting these. And this is actually quite good because it's just... Um, we can speed it up. This will go very fast. As you can see, it's already got fuel, and anything you put in here will, will go pretty quickly through as well. And the reward for that one, let's have a quick look at the reward for that one. Energize is an ender tank. Ah, actually, pretty good. We got two of those last time as well. Uh, in fact, I think I got one or two, just one ender tank this time, which is fine, because I've actually got two already. A quick review of the Blurst earth, yes, you can see we're getting all sorts of things. Raw chicken, nautilus shells, tridents, uh, with loyalty to on it, it's actually quite good. Um, fish, so I'm not quite sure what other animals we're getting here, but they're coming in fairly quickly. That was a cow, well, a cow by the sounds of it. Didn't see the beep before. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm not sure what my best achievement is today. Uh, I suspect this is going to be the best achievement. So that's it for this episode. I am... I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, you can hear mobs are getting ground in the background. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.